Hi, my name is John Campbell, and I'm going out with my nephew to show him how to band a young golden eagle. This is a tree nesting golden eagle, which is somewhat unusual as most eagles nest in uh, on cliffs, either up in the mountains or out in the prairies and the river broughs. I just want to go up a little higher to get an overview of what you've got. So we've got a, a duck foot there, a raven, which is not, and then a mallard duck. A male gopher, gopher in there as well. Yeah, and right, right in front of you. 113 lined one. Yeah. Something like. And you got to be careful with the feet on these. Oh yes, it's a 13 lined one, right here. Now, so quite a big oh, nest. That little guy grabbed your hand with it. It would hurt. Okay. You probably would have been best to band him first to get all the excitement out of the way. Well, that's, now you want to grab him on top and push him down. Push him down. Get, get in behind his head and push him down, and he'll squat. Yeah, first I have to get the banding stuff out. No, okay. So you, you get your head behind, or hand behind his head to push his body down? Yeah, and then his feet can't get you. And then he grabs onto the nest, yeah. Okay. Well, you want to choose which band you want. It's a nice size, as I say, I thought I saw, you know, a little, little bit of white. You do yeah. see him. Not quite that easy one-handed. Eighteen on one. Okay, Where's your top? End? Eighteen, maybe right. Or not that many. Ends with twenty-five. No, oh, eighteen, maybe right. Fourteen. Here we go. Okay, is that the lowest yeah. for sure? Okay, pull it apart. Now they're hard to band. Yeah. Now you want to get up, if you squat them down, which is what I had them, you want to get up, watch his feet. These aluminum bands? Yeah. And they're really hard to band them. Watch them. Well, if he wants to bite you, that's not so bad, but it's the feet. So get him behind the head and push his head yeah. down, but then you how do I get, get to his feet? Just go in you? behind quickly, right from this side, push him down. And but how do he, I get to his feet after that? Well, then once he's down, you just pull a foot out, same as you were doing with the prairies. Out of the back end? Yeah, or out the side, because if he comes down towards you. So I come on on the left like this and push his head down? Yeah, you want me to do it? No, I can try. Okay, you want to do it fairly quickly. If he's going to come towards you like that, let him, let him lean forward yeah. and come towards you like that and then and then get in behind them. Or go to the right then, go to the right and get them. Okay. Yeah, push them down, push, yeah, there he is. Yeah, exactly. And then pull the leg out. And he can't stand up really. Yeah, keep down, pull the leg out. Yeah, there, and you got him. Right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> keep him down. Here, give me the leg. Sure. Uh, there, I'll hold the leg. All right. Go ahead. He's biting me, but it doesn't. And the thing is, uh, the size of those claws, that they can go right through a hand. All right, now don't let him get up. I, I know, have I haven't. Off I've got it. I've got him this way. Go ahead. Right below your hand? Yeah, put it in, squeeze it. You'll have to. It's really tough to do. Yeah, I can. It's hard. I got to pay attention to the. He does, his bite doesn't hurt, so at least you don't no. worry about that. It now, is, is this loose enough? or? Yeah, it's loose enough, see? But tighten it in as tight as you can. It's really yeah, it is tight. You know, well, it's still loose. It's a lot of hair. You get it in tight yeah, as you. It's in. 
okay? Ouch. I'm looking at him and not looking Stop through the it. monitor. Okay, yeah, you're gonna, it's gonna be really tough to do. What a beautiful view from up here. I guess mm. this is what they call an eagle. You've got the, you've got the band tightly so I can. Yeah. You may have to come from this side and do it. Maybe I can just squeeze yeah. it down like this. And roll your wrist when you yeah. do it. It is a nice view from up here. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, because uh, hopefully the mic is picking it all up and we can go up and kind of look out over the valley. Uh. You got it? Yeah. Squeeze it from the side then, yeah. I need to squeeze it like this to get it closer yeah. to all the way tight. Okay. Okay. You want me to get it? Let me try it like this now. Um, you want me to show you how to round it? Just hold the... Oh, that? No, you don't. You don't need that. And I can clamp down on it. No, you just do it from here and roll your wrist. No, you want me to show you? That's part of it. That's the eagle. You can hear it barking. Yeah. Now get it from above and just squeeze these two like that. Yeah, and then roll your wrist when you do it. You get it? Yeah. Maybe you should let me. I get it. If you want. Sure. You want me to hold his leg? You just hold him down. Grab him. The head. You can do the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Grab that. Yeah. I've known about this eagle nest for over 20 years. The original nest was in another tree, and the nest got so big that uh, one year we got a big rainstorm with lots of moisture, and I think the nest soaked up too much, and the tree couldn't hold it, and it came down with two chicks in. We came along a few days later, and they were both dead, unfortunately. This particular nest has been here four or five years, I think, and uh, it's got one chick in it. Generally, uh, eagles lay two eggs, like all large birds, and the second egg is really just insurance that the uh, older sibling generally kills the younger one. But in this case, about half the time, these birds actually raise two young, and in one case, three, which is uh, very unusual. I've only seen that once before. But uh, it does give an indication that it's a very good prey base here, and they do very well.